Hello everybody, this is Ken Kenish speaking to you uh, the 30, 30th of May, almost the beginning of the summer, 2020. And uh, today I want to speak to you about, uh, what's it called, um, how to lose weight, weight loss. Well, maybe I'm not the perfect example of, of such a thing. Um, uh, well, I... It depends on my motivation, you know. I, I'm not motivated enough, and I had a, a lot of shit going on in my life right now, which makes it hard to lose weight. But uh, this is perhaps for you who are, have less problems in your life and you're, and are more 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 motivated, and uh, also uh, has it easier uh, to lose weight for other reasons. Uh, yeah, well, what to begin with is that uh, uh, if, if you want to lose weight, uh, you have to lose your love for food because uh, often one is addicted to food uh, because food becomes an addiction after a while. Uh, so uh, you gotta you gotta uh, stop being in love with food, and that and that makes you which makes you uh, eat food all the time. A method which is good, which I am using uh, right now, is the the eating one meal per day, and the rest, if you get hungry, you you drink orange uh, uh, fruit juice, not just orange juice, but any fruit. That that doesn't have extra sugar added to it, no no uh, no sugar, which is uh, sweetening sub substances such as aspartame and acesulfam K. No no such things uh, and no extra added uh, white sugar, no no sugar added at all. The only sweetness that that can exist uh, in what you're drinking is the uh, the sweetness from the fruit itself, you know. Which is called uh, uh, fructose, I think it's called. Uh, so um, that is it. Otherwise, you get diabetes uh, because uh, the only way to do skip diabetes, if you uh, because nobody wants to get di diabetes, I guess, is not to uh, have any added sugar to it, the fruit you're eating. Just na just natural fruit. Uh, you can eat fruit, you can uh, make fruit salad, you can drink it. But uh, uh, during the day, you only eat one meal. And that meal uh, consists of uh, one-fourth... Uh, well, this is a recommendation, it doesn't have to be like this. Uh, whatever uh, you feel like eating. But uh, I recommend that you don't eat uh, bad stuff on der during the, that uh, time as well. It's supposed to be one fourth meat, one fourth uh, carbon hydrate such as rice, potatoes, pasta, bread, and uh, half of it, half of half of the plate should be salad, the fruit. Uh, no, no, not, not fruit. I mean like uh, green uh, uh, salad, uh, as, as such vegetables. So and you know most often uh, uh, fat. I mean. Uh, Overweightness is, is because of an addiction. Uh, it can be g uh, genetically, uh, you know, like inherited that you're overweight, uh, but um, that can be managed as well. You can have minimum weight. Otherwise, these those people uh, usually eat even more than 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 those who have uh, problems and th those who uh, uh, don't have uh, problems as well. And they become even more fat, fat uh, overweight, and uh, and gain uh, what's it called, uh, heart problems, and uh, uh, walking pr tr tr trouble walking, and uh, many other uh, problems. And uh, uh, as such, uh, a very difficult. Uh, uh, time breeding also and other problems uh, so I recommend uh, one one stays in shape 
and uh, has a good intake of food that is nutritious. If one can be fruitarian, for example, that is a very good way to live your life. I tried it for two months and I lost uh, uh, 25 kilos. I don't know how many pounds that, pounds that is, but uh, it's a lot. And I never felt so alive in my life. Depression and psychological problems didn't bite on me as much as they used to uh, when I ate meat. And uh, also I, tr I tried being uh, vegetarian and vegan also, which also uh, uh, improved my life quality, both physically and psychologically. I can tell you about my personal problem. My personal problem is that I got uh, family problems and, uh, and uh, social problems. And therefore I resort to eating and uh, I can't help myself because when, when I don't eat, I feel like my world is falling apart and uh, I, I, I can't help myself. I feel really bad, uh, both psychologically and uh, physically. My body shivers and, uh, uh, and yeah, that's what happens to me. Maybe in the comment down below, or, or if it's there, uh, you can uh, share your experience of what happens to you when you don't eat, if you have an eating disorder, or an eating, eating, hab or eating habit or eating problem, which makes you either overweight or underweight. Because underweightness is also a problem. People who can't eat enough. I haven't experienced it myself much, but uh, I would reckon it's a uh, very disturbing problem uh, when you can't uh, eat enough when you when you just can't get food in your mouth I, I suppose and those people have have to have I think my my set of uh, mentality you know to be in love with food you know when I when I was healthy I got a stroke attack uh, electric st stroke attack 2010 and uh, this destroyed my, uh, uh, well, weakened my body functions and uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, this distorted my uh, uh, my body functions and and it kind of unbalanced me. So, but before that, I, I ate as much as even more than I eating it now. But I I sweated out, sweat out the food, and. Uh, and I melted it, everything that I ate, uh, digested it. So, uh, so, I mean, some people can eat more than uh, people who are overweight, but they digest it. That's the thing. That's, that's something that I, st I stopped doing more or less uh, ever since I got this attack 2010. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you can digest it, it's even, even better, but... Treat your body well. Treat your body good. Treat your body uh, innocently and with ki kindness and care. Uh, 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 and so, because in the in the future you won't you won't be able to hold hold on forever to this uh, uh, digestive uh, effectivity that you have. Uh, it will soon break down. Your body functions will break down. You you will get diabetes. You will get overweightness. You will get uh, uh, heart problems. All kinds of uh, uh, problems because your body will become weak, so it, and it can't handle the, the the food that it's put it into itself anymore. So think of food as something you gotta do or eat just to survive, not not something that you. Not, not not just a source of uh, uh, pleasure. You can you, you can have you you can get pleasure from food, but pleasure is only when when you when you eat it for survival. And talking theoretically about changing your habits for for food and for eating and for um, uh, what you take in. It's much more easier said than done because because this has to do with your whole being 
your body, your whole, whole system. And it's connected to your psychology as well. That when you're comforted, that when, you're in, when you're in comfort, you feel satisfied uh, with the world, with yourself, with, with, with your, your environment. You feel pleased. But, but food can be a very dangerous thing. I've experienced for myself that when I or, was overweight, I couldn't ta eat eat more food. You know, I couldn't breathe. You know, it was so much. I, I was so overweight that I, I couldn't breathe. Uh, when I and when I was eat when I was eating food, and I had to sit in a certain way for the food to go go down, and uh, and and my heart was beating so fast because. It, it, and I felt I was uh, I was get, getting a heart attack anytime soon. My heart couldn't couldn't handle the the pressure of my body, the immense pressure of my body. So it's a very dangerous thing, being overweight. Not to measure, not to mention the the physical aspects that you can't walk, uh, you can't. Uh, Ex I mean, exercise, you know, uh, do any sports, you can't stay in shape, uh, you're not li likable, but I mean, attractive to other people, uh, you know, you uh, psychologically, you uh, you have this also, this uh, you have to carry this uh, burden of, of your body, if you, when you walk around, you have to carry this weight, this mass you have around yourself. So, so eating eating is good as long as uh, it it uh, serves you. It's not as long as it becomes a a bad habit. And if you're healthy and not like me that has uh, lost uh, body functions and have energy to uh, exercise, you should definitely, absolutely, and totally exercise. Start by just walking to the park. Walking in the nature, that's one of the most healthy things one can, one can do. Uh, walking around, then you can, then when you uh, have less uh, weight on yourself, you can start jogging and running. And, you know, you don't have to do hard exercise, but as long as you're burning fat, uh, that's, that's the point. That's the idea. And uh, you can also go sit in a sauna. You can go also uh, a distance, walk a this around in circles, like a circle movement. Uh, first you start where you are, where you live, and then you walk around in a s circle of uh, path around uh, your neighborhood and come back to where you live again. I have a lot of experience with this. I just, my problem is that I can't uh, do it, accomplish it. I can't... Uh, uh, achieve it and I uh, do my best with that but uh, but you should take this extremely seriously because it's your future it's your about your life you can die from this you, you don't want to die do you so you should even starve yourself uh, in order to lose weight and also, every, uh, most of these things are habits. I know, I've noticed that when I lose weight and I'm in, uh, and uh, and I uh, lost, I mean, in a, uh, and I'm thin, let's call it. I'm satisfied with myself. I don't, I don't need food. It's a lot of to do also with the psychological pressure society and others put us, put on us to eat and to consume. You know, uh, it's it's a lot of. It's, uh, is also reasons from, from outside psychological and and spiritual and uh, energetic pressures others put on us to uh, eat and be overweight because you know they are enemies they don't want us to be healthy and in and shape and and such they want us to be miserable they want want us uh, uh, you know when they're in our enemies and to be fat and to be, uh, what's it called, uh, out of shape. So you should think about yourself. You're serving yourself. 
when you exercise, when you eat right, when you sleep well, when you're in harmony and feel good, that is what is important. You got to go your own path. I have a lot of experience with this, with this, and if there's anything I can help you with, or uh, you know, if any, any questions you have might have, just ask me, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll gladly answer your questions uh, regarding this matter. So take care of yourself and be healthy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.